morning gentlemen. I hope you've been well during this lockdown period and that you've been able to spend some quality time with your parents. Now we are back at school from home and I hope that the resources and the lessons that I give to you here all the way from the Drakensberg would be of value to you. How it will work is every Tuesday and Friday we will have a music theory or oral training lesson. I can either upload a video for you or give you a worksheet to do, but either or we will be having a classroom every Tuesday and Friday. So we'll be mostly be working from our theory workbooks, as you know, our blue theory workbooks. If you do not have your theory workbook with you, do not stress. You will see in this session that I've uploaded the work that we do as a PDF document. So every session you will be able to download and print the worksheet of this lesson. So if you therefore do not have your theory workbook with you, do not stress, you are still able to keep up and keep track of what we are doing. Now, I want you to make sure for every lesson that you have all your stationery and everything ready at once. So, always have a ruler with you, as well as a sharpened pencil. Obviously, then a sharpener as well for when your pencil gets a bit blunt, as well as a pen and an eraser. This is your itinerary for every music lesson. Also, see that you have a surface where you can press nicely and work. For instance, a table would be best. Also, remember, when writing notes, we always only use our pencil. Never write notes with a pen. The pen will just be used for writing words. These are very important. Okay, do you have everything ready for today's lesson? I'll give you some time. Make sure you have everything ready so you don't have to spend time during the lesson to go fetch any stationery or to be seated at a proper place. Okay, let's now delve into today's lesson. At last, we are opening on the first page of our book. So please turn to topic one, Demi Semi Quavers. Demi Semi Quavers. Okay, so this past term we looked a lot at the more of the melodic side of music theory. Now we are getting to the rhythm side. A demi-semiquaver note looks like this. You can three there, see there's three little lines. Okay, so if we were to look at the note values of demi-semiquavers, one, two, three. Two, three. You see, we have four demi semi quavers. Two demi semi quavers makes one semi quaver. So four demi semi quavers equals the value in time of two semi quavers. And two semi quavers equals the value of one. Quaver. So as you can see, four demi semi quavers will in time be the same as one quaver. Now, if we add four more demi semi quavers, let's see what we will have. Do you remember? Four demi semi quavers equals the value of one. Quaver. So let's see. Two demi semi quavers makes one semi quaver, and two demi semi quavers makes another semi quaver. Two semi quavers makes one quaver. So 
eight demi-semiquavers. Can you guess how, which notes would be to the value of eight demi-semiquavers? One, crotchet. So it's basically just breaking the notes back to even smaller values. The rest of a demi-semiquaver looks like this. So if we have two demi-semiquaver rests, it equals to the value of one semiquaver. So four demi-semiquaver rests equals the value of two semiquavers. And if we simplify that even further, two semiquavers makes one quaver. Can you guess how many demi-semiquavers would make a crotchet? Let's take it from this side. Here's our crotchet. How many semiquavers do we need for one quaver? We need two. And then we can simplify this even further to four more demi-semiquavers. Making a total of eight demi-semiquavers making a crotchet, whether it's rests or whether it's notes. Also, another thing to remember is when we have a triplet of three demi-semiquavers. Remember how it works when we have a triplet? It will be played in the value of two of the notes in the time frame. In other words, Two demi-semiquavers equals one semiquaver. So three demi-semiquavers will be played in the time of one semiquaver. A bit strange to you? Let's simplify that again. If we have three quavers in a triplet, remember what we do? It plays to the value of two notes. In other words, a crotchet beat. Da da dee. If we think of ta, ta, ta te ti ta, ta te ti ta, ta te ti being a triplet. The same principle applies even if we break the notes into smaller values. If you find that I'm going through the work really fast, Remember, you can pause the video and rewind, and pause and rewind, and then you can make sure that you first understand every concept before moving on. This is the beauty of the online classroom. But now, let's get our hands dirty. Let's look at question one. Question one says, write one note which lasts as long as the number of demi semiquavers in each of the following. An example is shown below. So if we look at the example, we see four demi semiquavers last as long as a which note? Let's go back. Four demi semiquavers. So can be simplified to a semiquaver as well as another semiquaver, but this can still be simplified to a quaver. Ach, yeah. So, four demi-semiquavers can be written as a quaver in one word, in the time value. Okay, let's look at number B. 16 demi-semiquavers lasts as long as a Let's think, how many demi semiquavers makes a crotchet? Do you remember? 
if four makes a quaver, then eight makes a two semi quavers, a quaver, and a crotchet. So eight demi semi quavers makes a crotchet. So sixteen demi semi quavers makes a What is the value of a crotchet plus a crotchet? Because we have 8 plus 8. So it's two crotchets makes a, you have to be there, a minimum. A minimum. So 16 demi semi quavers is the value of a minimum, if we write it in one note. Now, gentlemen, I want you to spend the time answering the rest of these questions. Number C to letter F. First, take the time and really every time, take the time to answer the questions because if you just copy from what I teach you, you will never have the time to actually internalize the knowledge. So spend time practicing, answering the questions and then afterwards we will mark it. Alright, have you finished with question number one? Let's mark it. Two demi semi quavers last as long as, let's see, two demi semi quavers as long as one semi quaver. Number D, eight demi semi quavers last as long as a. This is a number you should be remembering by now. Eight demi semi quavers lost as long as a crotchet. Twelve demi semi quavers lost as long as a. Hmm. If eight demi semi quavers makes a crotchet, See, eight demi semi quavers makes a crotchet. How many demi semi quavers do we have left? Four. Okay, so we want a crotchet plus a note to the value of four demi semi quavers, which will be two semi quavers, which is to the value of one quaver. So, a crotchet plus a quaver makes a dotted crotchet. So, the answer for letter E is a dotted crotchet. 32 demi semi quavers. Hmm. Well, let's first think how many crotchets is in 32 demi semi quavers. Do you remember your maths? 32 divided by 8 equals 4. So we have 4 crotchets, which is the value of a semi-brief. So 32 demi-semi-quavers makes 4 crotchets, because it's 4 groups of 8, which is to the value of a semi-brief. Let's turn the page. Go to question number two. Question number two asks, write the correct number in the blank spaces. A. A dotted minimum lasts as long as how many demi-semi quavers? A dotted minimum. Well, Simplify for yourself. A dotted minimum is how many crotchets? A dotted minimum is to the value of three crotchets. And now, by now you know how many demi semi quavers is in one crotchet? Eight. So, eight 
times 3 equals 24. So we have 24 demi semi quavers in one dotted minimum. So you can write at A24. Now boys, take the time to complete the rest of the questions and then we will mark it afterwards. Okay, let's see how you did. Letter B. A dotted quaver lasts as long as how many demi semi quavers? Let's work it out. A dotted quaver is to the value of how many semi quavers? One, two, three. Three semi quavers. Do you remember? Because two semi quavers makes one quaver. And the dot is to the value of half of that note, and half of a quaver is a semi quaver. That is why dotted quaver is to the value of three semi quavers. And now we just need to figure out how many demi semi quavers we have in three semi quavers. So there we have two demi semi quavers, there we have two more. And here we have two more again. So the answer is six. Next question. A quaver lasts as long as how many demi semi quavers? A quaver has two semi quavers, and two semi quavers simplified gives us. Four demi semi quavers. So the answer is four. A crotchet lasts as long as how many demi semi quavers? You know this one. Eight. Correct. A dotted crotchet lasts as long as how many demi semi quavers? Well, let us work it out. A dotted crotchet is how many quavers? Two plus this note, which is half of that note, which makes another quaver. So we have three quavers in a dotted crotchet. Now we just simplify that to semi-quavers, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, semi quavers, double that and we have 12. 12 demi semi quavers makes a dotted crotchet. Let's continue to question number three. Write the correct time signature for each of the following. Now boys, remember when we are working out a time signature, we want to see what is the basic beat for each measure. Are we in a compound beat or in a simple beat? So let's look at question number A. There we have eight demi semi quavers and a crotchet. If we look at the second bar, we have four demi semi quavers, a quaver, and a crotchet. What do you think will be the basic beat for question A? Let's see. Eight demi semi quavers makes which note? You remember? A crotchet. So we have two crotchets in the first bar, and then the next bar we have four demi semi quavers and a quaver. What note does that make? Four demi semi quavers. Let's first simplify that. That makes two semi-quavers, in other words, a quaver. So technically, we have a quaver and a quaverist. What does that make? A crotchet. So in the second bar, we also have a crotchet and a crotchet. 
beat. So two crochet beads make simple duple time. Simple duple time. Two four. Now, once again, pause the video and complete the rest of the questions for question three. Good. Are you done? Let's see what we got. Let's look at letter B. There we have four demi semi quavers. Four demi semi quavers. Two, three, four. Let's simplify that. We have two semi quavers. In other words, a quaver beat. So we have three groups of four demi semi quavers. In other words, three groups of quaver beats. So, looks like we might be working in compound time. Let's see what happens in the next bar. We have a dotted crotchet. Will that be a simple or compound beat? Remember, simple beats can be divided by crotchet beats. This will make one and a half crotchet beats, but it will make three quaver beats. So the answer is clear. It's compound time with three quavers per bar. Three a time, that's our answer. Let's look at the next one, C. Mm, here we have a triplet. Don't get thrown off by a triplet. We will just simplify the triplet. Okay. So we have a semi-quaver and three demi-semi-quavers. Do you remember what happens when we have a triplet? We count it for the beat of two of the notes. In other words, two demi-semi-quavers, which makes one semi-quaver. So, technically, we have two semi-quaver values. Added to that, we have a quaver rest. Two semi-quavers equals to the beat of a quaver. So technically we have two quavers which equals to a crotchet beat. A crotchet beat. So we have a crotchet beat plus two more quavers, another crotchet beat. In other words, we have two crotchet beats in the first bar. If we look at the second bar, we have the same pattern just reversed. We have three demi semi quavers, in other words, to the beat of a semi quaver, plus another semi quaver, which will equal to the value of a quaver, plus a crotchet note. So we have two beats of crotchet beats. Okay, so two crotchet beats in a bar makes simple time and simple duple time. Let's look at the next question, D. There we have three demi semi quavers. Let's test it again. Here we have three demi semi quavers. Although the third one is erased. Three demi semi quavers. Oh no, the second one is just a semi quaver. Two demi semi quavers plus a semi quaver plus a quaver. And then let's see to what can that simplify. We have a semi quaver and a semi quaver. 
and a quaver. This can once again be simplified to a quaver and a quaver, in other words, a crotchet. Let's see what happens after that. Then we have the same pattern, exact same pattern that repeats. So we have a crotchet beat plus another crotchet beat. And then we actually have just a crotchet note there. So we can see our basic value is going to be simple time. Let's just double that, check that to the next bar. There we have four demi semi quavers. Remember, four demi semi quavers can be simplified to two semi quavers and one quaver. I hope it's starting to make more sense to you. So in other words, we have a quaver value grouped with the quaver. Two quavers makes one crotchet. One crotchet. So we have a crotchet beat plus a crotchet beat plus another crotchet. So how many crotchet beats do we have in these bars? Three per bar. Simple triple time. And let's look at the next question, E. There we have two demi semi quavers plus a dotted quaver. That sounds interesting. Two demi semi quavers plus a dotted quaver. Let's remember. What is the value of two demi semi quavers? One semi quaver plus a quaver, and the dots, remember, will be to the value of the quaver, which will be a demi semi quaver. So, in other words, we have a quaver plus two semi quavers. And if you remember, two semi quavers makes a quaver, so we have two quavers, in other words, a crotchet beat. Okay, so the first beat is a crotchet beat. Then we have a crotchet rest. Then we have the exact same pattern. Oh, shouldn't have put those stripes up to there. Then we have the exact same pattern, which is, remember, a crotchet beat. And then we have another crotchet. So it's clear our basic note value for this passage is a crotchet beat. How many? Let's count. One, two, three, four. Simple quadruple time. Let's double check that to the next measure. We have the exact same pattern, which is two, one crotchet beat, plus a crotchet, plus a minute of rest. Simple quadruple time. If we look at question F, we have one demi semi quaver rest plus three demi semi quaver notes. Let's simplify that. A semi quaver plus a semi quaver. So we have two semi quavers plus the same pattern exact same pattern. So in other words, we have another two semi-quavers next to each other. And then we have four more demi-semi-quavers. In other words, two more semi-quavers. If we simplify that pattern. So here we have two, four, six semi-quavers, which can be simplified to three, Quavers. Mm -hmm. Three quavers. Does that then look like we will have compound or simple time? That is a clear compound time. And how many quavers do we have in this bar? Three. Let's double check that by looking at the next bar. Then we have four demi semi quavers. Remember, four demi semi quavers makes 
two semiquavers and one quaver. So in other words, another quaver plus four more demi semiquavers, which is to the value of a quaver plus a quaver note rest. So three more quavers. Therefore, question F is definitely compound time. Let's look at G. Question G. We have a triplet, once again, of three daily semiquavers, plus we have a semiquaver, plus we have a quaver. And this looks like it's grouped together. So let's see what we have. Remember, when it's a triplet, we equal it to the value of two of the notes and not three. So two demi semiquavers makes one semiquaver plus another semiquaver plus our quaver. This can be simplified to two quavers, in other words, a crotchet. So our first beat is a crotchet beat. The second beat is the exact same pattern, so it's another crotchet beat. And then a crotchet. So how many crotchet beats in that bar? Crotchet beats. Three. Simple triple time. Let's look at the next bar and see if we can confirm our findings. We have eight demi semiquavers. If you remember, eight demi semiquavers makes how many other notes? Eight demi semiquavers is to the value of one crotchet. And then we have another crotchet note there and a crotchet note rest. So we have three full time. And the last question. Let's rub out the board. Question H. We have a dotted quaver plus a triplet of demi semiquavers. Let's see how this can be simplified. A quaver note. And remember the dot equals to half of the value of the note to which it's connected. So it's a semiquaver. And remember a triplet of demi semiquavers would be to the value of two of the notes, so two demi semiquavers, which makes one quaver. This you can hopefully already recognize. Two semiquavers is a quaver plus a quaver, making a crotchet beat. So this pattern is to the value of one crotchet beat. And let's see, we have three of them exactly adjacent next to each other. So we have three crotchet beats plus a crotchet note. So our basic time value is definitely simple time. How many? Let's count. One, two, three, four. Simple quadruple time. Let's double check if we agree with that with the next bar. We have the exact same pattern which is to the value of a crotchet note plus two quaver notes which we know two quaver notes is to the value of a crotchet beat plus a minimum, which is two crotchets. So four definite crotchet beats in that bar. Well done, boys. This is the end of our lesson for today. You do not have any homework for Friday. I think if we continue working like this, we will be able to get a lot of work done. Thank you for focusing. Make sure when I see you again on Friday that you have all your itinerary and stationery ready so we can dive into the lesson on Friday. Have a blessed week.